Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today we're back with another ICP video. If you're new to the channel, here we talk about the Internet Computer Protocol and you know what's really going on inside the ecosystem. And we have some crazy news because on July 15th, Caffeine AI has been launched. This product, Caffeine AI, has been in development for the past year. Definity has been working on it, made sure that it works good, and finally released the alpha version in San Francisco, where they also held the first Caffeine AI hackathon. But before we dive into that, let's see what Caffeine AI is for the people that may be unfamiliar with it. Caffeine AI is a revolutionary self-writing AI tool developed by Definity, the company building the Internet Computer Protocol, that allows anyone to build and deploy decentralized applications on the Internet Computer Protocol. And the best part is that you can code and deploy those apps without any coding language. You don't need to know any coding language. You don't need to be a developer. You don't need to do anything. You just need to be able to speak English or Chinese or whatever language you speak. You don't even need to speak it correctly because the AI is going to understand what you're trying to say. It's going to ask you questions like, are you sure that you want this? Let me clarify. Are you talking about this and this? Basically how Caffeine AI works is you just describe the app idea in natural language and Caffeine AI automatically generates the front end, back end and smart contract logic and then deploys it fully on chain. And this is the fastest way to launch a Web3 dApp with zero DevOps, zero servers, and full decentralization. And this is extremely bullish for ICP because now for the very first time, we finally have a product that everybody in crypto and outside of crypto can easily understand. Like we're not talking about, you know, canister smart contracts. We're not talking about CK tokens. We're not talking about any type of, you know, hard to understand technology that Definity has built for ICP. We're talking about an easy to understand topic. You just talk to an AI and it deploys whatever app you have in mind. A lot of people, when, when Caffeine AI is released to the public and everybody gets to use it, I'm 100% sure that, you know, some Gen Z kid is going to create a bunch of apps and make a bunch of money and then go super, super viral on TikTok or YouTube Shorts. We're going to see a bunch of them say that I'm making $10,000 a month by building apps using this AI tool, Caffeine AI, and people are going to go crazy for it. And this is how ChatGPT exploded by people interacting with it and getting all of those, you know, crazy results. And this is going to happen for ICP and Caffeine AI. So this is one of the most exciting things happening to the Internet Computer Protocol. This has been one year in the works and it's finally out. The alpha version is out. The event in San Francisco that happened on July the 15th was incredible. From beginning to the end, I think it was one of the best events that Definity has ever organized. I think one of the coolest things at this event in San Francisco was the hackathon, which began a couple of hours before the main event and the live stream started. And around 80 to 100 hackers came to use Caffeine AI for the very first time. There were people there, hackers, that came to Caffeine AI. Some of them didn't even know what ICP was. I think that this was the direction that Definity wanted to get people that are interested in AI and in, you know, AI building tools and not just people from the crypto world. And this is how you really begin to break the Web3 bubble and the crypto bubble and expand into the AI world because AI is way bigger than crypto and that's the market that you need to go after. After the event ended, people got access to Caffeine AI. The first round of codes went out and people got to experience Caffeine AI. Some people or most people, I would say, didn't receive a Caffeine AI code and they're understandably upset on X and on Twitter. And I think that right now is one of the best times to try and become a content creator, especially covering the Internet Computer Protocol, because a lot of eyes are now on ICP and a lot of people like the views that videos are getting are way higher now than they were like one or two months ago. So if, you're, if you've ever thought about becoming an ICP content creator, then now is the time. And I think that it would be incredibly smart from Definity to prioritize sending out codes to people that create content. Because what do you want right now? You want maximum exposure. You want people talking about this. And what's the best way to do it? Well, giving it to content creators and having those content creators build apps using caffeine. And yeah, some of them are going to go viral. Some of them are going to be way cooler than others. Personally, I would prioritize content creators and you know maybe developers above everybody else so let's have a look at caffeine ai this is the first thing that you're gonna see let me actually put it in dark mode those are gonna be the first messages that you get from caffeine whenever you 
open it after you add your invite code. It's gonna say, hi, I'm Caffeine, this is our main chat. I can build apps for you, answer questions, and help you with your projects. And you can literally talk to Caffeine and you know, it's gonna respond to you. It's gonna be your coding friend that's very patient with you and very understanding and asks a lot of questions that's just to make sure that you guys are on the same page. Hey, Caffeine, I'm making a video right now. Wanna say something to the audience? Let's see if it actually works like this. I don't know if it works like this, but let's check it out. So it actually responded, hey everyone, I'm Caffeine, your AI sidekick for building apps on the internet computer. If you can dream it, you can build it just by chatting with me. Let's make something amazing together. So it's aware that, you know, we're in a video and it said a, a, a message to the video. So this is pretty smart. Caffeine AI is built using some top large language models. So it's smart like that. And you can just create an app, like a simple app. Let's do like build me a dice game where you play against an AI. Uh, let's see, just a very, very simple app. And then I'll go over what simple app I've built to solve one of the problems that people have because right now a lot of people are super, super upset that they don't have a Caffeine AI code. So I thought about an app and actually I can show it to you right now while uh, Caffeine is developing this app for us. Usually when people have a pain point, you wanna you know, help there, you wanna fix a problem that people have. And right now people are upset they cannot use caffeine. And what I thought, and I built this in, in like an hour or two, my initial plan was to build an interface where people can interact with caffeine AI without having an invite code, but it didn't let me do that. The next best thing that it let me do was to build an interface where people can submit their ideas and then I take them, put them into caffeine and get them the websites, get the websites back to the people. This way, although it's not as good as an interaction compared to talking to Caffeine directly, at the very least, you know, people can get to say that, you know, I built an app using Caffeine, this is so cool, this is so cool. I'm waiting to get my code so much more now and maybe they're gonna be less, less upset. We're gonna talk about how my experience was building this as well as, you know, what I think are gonna be some good updates in the future. So you go to Caffeine Pill and here I took the Poke Studio logo, the old Caffeine logo that was, you know, shelved by Definity and I modified it with the blockchain pill colors and I think it looks pretty neat here. And let's say somebody says, you know what, blockchain pill, can you please build me an app which is gonna be, let's, let's make it like a chess, chess tournament app and say like, build me a chess app where people can queue and play against one another, have an ELO rating system and add internet identity login because we wanna make sure that we know who, who's logging in and we're keeping tracks of everybody. So this is the app idea, you know, and you just click on submit request here and it's now submitting requests and I'm gonna show to you there we go, request submitted successfully. And me, I'm gonna be able to look here at the requests. Mind you, this took me like one and a half, two hours to code, like it was like a, a few codes. I messed around with it a lot and it got to like 23 prompts, but most of them, like many of them were like, I was trying to fix like a chat feature and uh, I was having a hard time with that. But like the bulk of the app was built in just a few prompts, like five or six. I'm gonna see here all the requests that people make. Gonna be like chess tournament app. You know what, that sounds cool. Let's actually approve this. And uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna take this request. I'm gonna go to Caffeine AI. I'm gonna tell Caffeine AI, hey, build me a chess app where people can do this, that, and everything else. It's gonna start building it. While we wait for the chess application to be coded, let's see this dice battle game. Let's open the, uh, the app. And we can now roll the dice. And uh, we can see we rolled a five, the AI rolled a two, we won. And we go on and on and on, two versus one, we won, so on and so forth. So this took me how long? One prompt, this was one prompt. And then on top of this, you can add internet identity login, and then maybe you can add like a tipping function, like you can bet some amount of ICP, and if you win, you win something, if you lose, you lose the money, so on and so forth. So being able to build this just by talking to the AI and with no coding knowledge, I think is great. 
And we've already seen some cool, cool uh, apps being built by people using Caffeine AI. We're not gonna highlight them in this video, but we're definitely gonna either highlight them or have some of the people that built those incredible apps uh, here on the show. While we're waiting, uh, during the hackathon, they had six winners, three from the non-technical category and the other three from, from technical category. And man, some of them, what they built was absolutely incredible. So let's get back to the chess application. And we can see currently it's uh, just writing the code and now it's getting ready to deploy to the ICP network. There we go. So now we get the code, we copy it and I go back to my little request app. We add the app link here and on your screen, the person who requested this, this app, uh, you're gonna get an update on notification that your app is now ready and uh, you're gonna be able to click the link and enjoy your app. And of course, I know this is not, you know, as good as being able to directly interact with Caffeine AI. It's definitely better than nothing. And let's check the app and then I'll go over, you know, uh, ways in which I think we could make this better and what features to build for it next. So here's the chess master and you can now find a match, but I think somebody else needs to join as well in order to be able to uh, play. So we don't have anybody else to join here. So this is the app here. This is how you'll be able to submit your request. I will take a few requests. Mind you, I, I'm only one person and I can only have a maximum of 10 apps inside my caffeine interface. So what I'm thinking is the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a group of people that have caffeine AI codes and add them as administrators here on this app that I built. They will be able to access the admin panel and see the new submissions and then get the codes and get the prompts and add them to caffeine. That way, you know, maybe more people are gonna be able to have a first experience deploying an app using caffeine. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's not gonna be a massive, massive downtime. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, what would you like to see in this, you know, caffeine pill app? How do you think we can improve it further? And uh, yeah, give it a go. It's gonna be, the link is gonna be in the description below. If you wanna try it and launch an app using the caffeine pill interface, if you don't have a caffeine code, then definitely give it a go. And if you have a caffeine code, then let me know, send me a DM and I'm gonna add you as an administrator on this platform so that you can help other people deploy their own apps using caffeine. So all in all, I think caffeine is really gonna change the game for ICP because there is no way that somebody doesn't launch a killer app that's gonna go viral and a lot of people are gonna see it and then they're gonna realize it's built with caffeine and they're gonna wanna try caffeine and they're gonna come to the internet computer protocol. This is this, we're gonna cover ICP and caffeine in future videos. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions in the comment section below and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.